that positive influencer once Steph fired after she was forced to what leave the plane? Uh, mobile obese influencer complains that she had to walk to her airplane seat after staff refused to push her around in a wheelchair. Thinks obese are also entitled to a free double seats. Okay. Oh, My ordeal at SeaTac Airport will shock you. This experience I'm about to share with you is yet another example of why employee sensitivity is desperately needed. I'm a plus-size wheelchair user and on a recent flight to the SeaTac Airport. I requested wheelchair assistance, as I always do, when it came time for me to deplane. I saw the employee who would be assisting me with my wheelchair waiting for me in the entry of the jet bridge. As I approached her and she realized she'd be assisting me and not one of the smaller passengers, she started to walk away with the wheelchair while making comments about my size, even when I told her I really needed the chair and needed her to let me sit down in it. She blatantly ignored me and kept walking. I think that if, like, you're actually disabled, but they she can't- she's walking right there! What do you mean she really needed it? She is walking right there! She doesn't look like she really needs it. To me, she really doesn't look like she really needs it. The employee who would be assisting me with my wheelchair waiting for me in the entry of the jet bridge- <laughs> No way! As I Ain't no way. As I always do. When it came wait, wait, time wait. for me- Like, I need to watch the entire thing again from the start. You is yet oh my god! Firefox! So Jesus, does she have no shame? Honestly, man. Sorry, but I hate fat people. I mean, it's morbidly obese people that are the issue. She holding a whole gallon of water. Oh my- How is that even allowed on the plane? What the fuck? Also, thanks for the follow, Kais Lana. What's up, Buckman? Well, a fat by choice and wants others to adapt to them, not them changing it. It's, it's ridiculous. It's so unhealthy on top of that. And the, the issue I have with these people is these quote-unquote fat influencers, fat positive influencers. It's so unhealthy. It is so fucking unhealthy. This isn't about body positivity. Like, if you feel happy in your body, that's good on you, but it's still unfucking healthy there are so many health risks with that but they will not believe it they will say that's fake news morbidly obese has to be a mental illness it has to be an eating disorder it has to be you're allowed to bring bottles on planes but they have to be empty at security check you can fill it after security uh yeah okay that makes sense that makes sense how do you even get that fat that's a good question. How do you get that fat and die fat at 30? That's most of them. They Most of them die young. Most of them die young. There's, there actually has been, like I recently heard about this, right? Where those fat positive influences on TikTok, they died. They died. They've been reported dying. It's crazy. The human body is durable, but there's only so much it can take. Yeah! There are legitimate issues that can cause you to make, uh, can cause you to become obese, particularly some hormonal issues. Yes, definitely. There are, there are reasons that you personally cannot help if there are, uh, what is, what is the word? Medical conditions? Yeah, there are medical conditions where you have no say in your weight in the end, but it's not that common with how many of those influences are fat positive. Not this fat though, yeah. Nicaro Avocado survived them all. <laughs> Nicaro Avocado, the mastermind, the jokester among jokesters, man. From vegan to meat lover. <laughs> oh, there are medical conditions that can make you obese even if you are healthy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, what's up, Joel? It's fire. Welcome. What's up? What's up? The junkler. <laughs> this, this shit is crazy. Let's let's watch this. The beasts are also again, entitled right? to uh, three double seats. Thanks for the follow. Okay. My ordeal at SeaTac Airport will shock you. This experience oh, I'm ordeal. about to share with you is yet another example of why employee sensitivity is desperately needed. I'm a plus size wheelchair user, and on a recent. I'm a plus size wheelchair user. So like legit, there isn't anything else. She doesn't. At least she doesn't say anything else. She doesn't say anything else. She's just a plus size wheelchair user. So the reason she's using the wheelchair is because she's fat. I've never seen that in Europe. I have never seen that shit in Europe. 
Not <laughs> once have I seen this go down in Europe. Yo, Clayton, what's up? Welcome in. Not once have I seen something like this in Europe. And the free double seats as well, like, holy shit. Flight to the SeaTac airport. I requested wheelchair assistance as I always do. He man, also thanks for the follow. What's up? When it came time for me to deplane, I saw the employee who would be assisting me with my wheelchair waiting for me. Like you can see, she's just walking. She's walking just fine here. She's walking just fine here. Her issue was, as I mentioned, hormones. <laughs> I've seen one when. The one land well in Portugal. Sherlock! Thanks. Thanks, Sherlock. No! No, don't play the music. Okay, I muted the stream in time. I muted the stream in time so it wouldn't play the music. God, Sherlock, you're ruining my YouTube videos! God damn you, cat! Well, I'll give her 20 minutes and the joints will fail. Honestly, man. Uh, morbidly obese influencer complains that she had to walk to her airplane seat after staff refused to push her around in a wheelchair. Thinks obese are also entitled to a free double I can't. seats. Okay. My I ordeal at SeaTac Airport oh, will ordeal. shock you. This experience I'm about to share with you is yet another example of why employees and yeah, SeaTac Airport. Seen this. I request employee who would be assisting me with my wheelchair waiting for me in the entry of the jet bridge as i approached her and she realized she'd be assisting me and not one of the smaller passengers she started to walk away with the wheelchair while making comments about my size can you imagine being that assistant and seeing this person walk to you and you have to push this person around imagine like that's not even imagine sitting next to her imagine you need to push someone around that weight. I don't have the strength to push a person around that is that weight. I do not have the strength to push a person around. And I would say, I'm not very strong either. I'm like average, maybe a little bit below average in, in strength. But like the average like flight attendant or flight assistant, man, like none of them are gonna have the strength to push your ass around. What do you expect? Of course! She re reminds me of Bowberry. <laughs> For fuck's sake, not Bowberry. <laughs> Ain't no way this person has the audacity to request wheelchair. Oh my god. Oh my god. Even when I told her I really needed the chair and needed her to let me sit down in it, she blatantly ignored me and kept walking. I think that if, like, you're actually disabled, they probably should push you around. Like, if you're for example, disabled, if you yes. Walk, like, you know, you've got one yes. leg. But, um, this you know, a lot walk. of people, just because you're overweight, that doesn't really you're mean that disabled. you're disabled. It yeah. just means that you're fat. I was yep. then forced to walk up one of the longest jet bridges I've encountered, and she didn't stop. By the time she let me reach the wheelchair and sit down, my lips were white. My oxygen levels had dropped, and I almost <laughs> fainted. This was my first time flying without oxygen. This woman just... She needs. She is so fat. She needs oxygen. No. You say that, but then me and the boys pull up with support belts and wrist support to drag her out. <laughs> we all need oxygen, kids. Okay, but she needs an oxygen machine. Is what she says. Brother, she needs an oxygen ma machine. It's assumed I could walk and would rather me do that instead of her having to. Of course, it's a, a common issue with obese people, but having an oxygen machine? Push someone my size up the jet bridge. Wait, wait, wait. Walk. Go back a bit. I almost fainted. This was my first time flying without oxygen. This woman just assumed I could walk and would rather me do that. You Instead can't of walk. her having to push someone my size up the jet bridge. Yeah, because no one all can the push other attendants size. wheeled their passengers up the jet bridge, but my needs were disregarded. This is discrimination. Nobody should be treated this way. Share your story at change. She's actually taking up two seats. Like, look at her. Like, she has actually such a sweet face. Like, she actually has such a sweet face, man. How do we how do you become a person like this? 
How do you become a person like this, man? Disregarded. This is discrimination. Nobody should be treated this way. Share your story at change.org plus size travel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be rude, but lady, a poor employee probably couldn't physically push around in a wheelchair. Hold up. High calorie woman wanted to be pushed like a toddler because she doesn't want to walk. You have yeah. to have like some sort of like imagine if everybody said, oh, well, if I have to get pushed around, right? Like this would create a lot of problems in life. I think that really the pushing thing is like, yeah, we can talk about that as much as you want. But like the uh, thinks obese people are entitled to free double seats. So you want to hear my hot take That's... on plus size travel and why I think every plus size traveler should get a free second and even third seat on an airplane? It... No, yes, so it no if you, want, to, if you no. want double seats, just pay for two seats. Exactly. It's, it's really that easy. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Obesity. How do you think you're entitled to another seat just because you take up the space of two people? It's not the airplane company's fault. It's not the air company's fault, man. Oh my god, I can't with these people. Oh my god, it's so unhealthy. I have fucked like, these for military service and I've walked everywhere at the airport. Oh my god. <laughs> The audacity of these people, they actually think they're disabled. Mentally, maybe. Mentally, maybe. You eat for two, you pay for two. <laughs> if the person is too thin, would he be allowed to use half the seat? <laughs> Does he only need to pay for half the seat in that case? Can they put another thin person with him? That's the government. I eat the deep fried Mars bars and you eat the cost. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Plus size influencer clan. She was left wheezing off the airport. Steph refused to help. <laughs> Just charge per kilo like they do with luggage. Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine. They're mentally disabled because they understand they something as a privilege. Mm. The bikini is the is as big as a bed sheet. Oh my god. That has been thought about several times now, no joke. Really? Wow. Maybe they should. Maybe they should. I mean, after all, I mean, to be honest, if we think about this logically, right? There only is a maximum of kilogram, like a maximum of weight that a plane can transport, right? So, you know, imagine if every single person uh, that booked the flight is fat. Imagine if the plane just couldn't take off. <laughs> imagine if the plane just couldn't fucking take off because it's too heavy. Oh my god. Nah. I don't want to live in a world like that. <laughs> but whatever, that was a way for a few minutes and now we are roasting fat people. Yeah, apparently. I'm gonna get cancelled for, th for this on Twitter probably too, man. I'm gonna be called fat phobic now. Br my brother in Christ. Uh, b m both my parents were fat and they taught me to never become fat. They taught me to like... It's unhealthy. I was taught by fat people that it's very unhealthy. They were suffering their entire life because they're fat. They will kick people off plates because it's too heavy of load. Jesus. Good. They should. There's also just a factor of fuel efficiency. Like, they already don't fill the tanks any more than they have to in order to not burn more fuel moving the spare fuel. Okay. Okay. Damn. That shit's crazy, man. That shit is so crazy. I can't believe this, man. I can't believe this.